Welcome back to another Alps Electrical installation video and uh, we're in a beautiful part of the world today. We're in a place called Castleton, which is uh, near Blakey Ridge in North Yorkshire. The drive here was absolutely stunning, just all across the North Yorkshire moors. Do you want to say hello? This is uh, the customer, yeah. Keith, who's Hi, Andy. absolutely lovely. Uh, and your wife as well. Yeah, yeah, lovely, lovely couple. And it's, we've been going back and forth with this a bit, haven't we? We've well, had, yeah, you've, bit... you've, had, you've had your work cut out. Major, to... major problems. Yeah. But yeah, you've done well. You and Bella are great. With the planning and the structural, and then you've got your, we've got a little issue at the minute with the DNO, you know, what they are allowing for export. Yeah. Um, but we're, we're getting there, aren't we? We're going to appeal, aren't we? Get it done. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but uh, we're finally here and it's been, how long have we been doing this? Six months? Nine months? <laughs> yeah, six months, I reckon. Yeah. yeah. But we're there and the sun shines out. Panels are going I on. I know, it's, it's a beautiful day. We're going to do a good job for Keith here. But you've had your air source heat pump fitted, haven't you? Yeah. Your gas prices were through Sky the roof. Sky high, yeah. Yeah, yeah all LPG. So, but you've got your air source heat pump. We're putting in a, a My Energy Zappy. We're putting in a, a My Energy Eddy so that, you know, the excess solar will heat the hot water. And uh, yeah, obviously the solar as well. So oh, coming good. up to the 21st century, aren't you? Good. I'm going to bang. A, I'm going to put the kettle on. Yeah, okay. good idea. Yeah. Nice one. So here we are. We just met Keith, lovely fella, and um, we're going to do a fantastic job. So what we've ended up with is 11.96 kilowatt system overall, uh, which is expected to generate around 9,605 kilowatt hours of energy every year. And we're using the ICO 460 watt solar panels on this job. Beautiful all black modules, really high efficiency, high spec one of the best on the market at the moment. So we've got 16 of those on this southwest roof here, which is this long one behind me. And then we've got a further 10 panels on the southeast roof, which is right at the back there, facing the beautiful mowers. And one thing to point out that this roof behind me, this is where all the wind comes, comes from this way. Hence my little fluffy device here. I look like I know what I'm doing, don't I? Um, but yeah, the wind off these mowers here, because there's nothing stopping it, um, can be just, you know, gale force, real, real high winds. So that's meant we've had to really look at the design of the mountain system. And for this job, we've gone with a company called Renusol, which is a German manufacturer, and they are much, much better for wind uplift. They're a lot more expensive as well, um, but we've had to go with that because of the strength of the winds in this area. And so it, it means that there's a lot more hooks, um, which is more weight. So that's all been taken into account with the structural. And so all of that work's been done and here we are installing. We were actually here yesterday. It was only half a day because we had to be off somewhere else. But we got the rails done on this roof and we made some progress in the garage. So I'll take you into the garage and I'll show you where all the components are going and what we've got on this project. Okay, so this is the garage. Uh, it's a nice big double garage. Uh, there's quite a lot of equipment in here as well, but uh, we've got a little area over here for um, our equipment. As you can see there, that's where the uh, air source heat pump and the hot water cylinder and all their, all their stuff is. They've done a nice job actually, I have to say, the air source heat guys. I think it was British Gas they had to do it. So uh, impressed with the electrical side that they've done so we were here yesterday but unfortunately i didn't do any filming because it's a very good reason for that i forgot the camera hence why there's no filming we're starting on day two basically with this video but you didn't miss much um we were only here half a day we basically got the rails done on that roof there um and then brad mounted the inverter and batteries did a bit of AC work, put the isolator in and the gen meter. And then I just did the uh, the eddy up there, as you can see. So today it's all about getting these solar panels on the front, um, doing a bit more of the wiring, and hopefully we'll go and uh, make a start on the back roof as well. Just to say what we've also got here is we've got the KH8, the Fox KH8 invert, which is the eight kilowatt hybrid. Uh, and then we've got our fantastic Fox Q batteries that you know we love. Um, for the reasons that we've said before, which is the fact that it's just so compact, it's so easily added to down the line. It's just a brilliant battery system. Um, and this customer has gone with four of the four 300s. So he's got 17.2 kilowatt hours of battery, which is a, a significant amount of battery storage. Um, I have, at my home, I only have 10. 
kilowatt hours. So, uh, but this is a big property and obviously he's got his air source and everything. So he's, you know, he's going to be using a lot of energy. So we're also installing a My Energy Zappy because the customer's going to get an EV um, shortly. So that'll work nicely with the Eddy and uh, you'll be able to see the Eddy and the uh, Zappy on his um, My Energy device. And we'll also add a second CT clamp to the Zappy so you can see the solar as well. So the lads are getting on well now with the panels on this front roof and I'm going to make a start on the uh, on the board for the, for the Zappy. And yeah, so uh, keep watching and see how we get on. So yeah, Leo's uh, getting on with the bird mesh now um, on the front so that hopefully we can get rid of the scaffold as quickly as possible, which is what we like to try and do, give the customer the house back as quickly as we can. So what I'm gonna do while Brad's clipping and Leo's bird meshing, I'm gonna have a look at installing this small garage board, just a two or three way consumer unit with a main switch. We're gonna put an RCBO in here um, for our EV charger. We're going to use this board that the heat pump guys put in, kindly left us some spare ways. So we're going to use one of those for the inverter, but we're going to put this in for our EV. And the EV is just on the other side of this wall, so it couldn't be much easier really. So yeah, we've already got uh, some Henley blocks here, which again, our friends, the heat pump guys have done. Uh, we've got a couple of spare terminals. So yeah, uh, it's fairly straightforward. So a nice little job for me. make a start now on the rear roof and uh, as you can see behind me the hills are alive with the sound of music it's absolutely stunning uh, it's a bit windy like the winds picked up you can see here how quickly the wind can change um, but we are still a bit sheltered because the majority of the wind is coming that way so we're on the back roof now with 10 panels portrait Left to right, one row, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, let's get cracking. See behind me, the panels are done on this front roof and they look absolutely fantastic. As you can see there from the drone shots, what a beautiful view we have here. So we've been super lucky with the weather. Um, it's been a little breezy, but I mean, I'll settle for that. The sun's just, it's just actually got a little bit milder and the sun's been out. Got a couple of sheep here wondering what I'm doing. The zappy's on, the eddy's on. They're all up and running, apart from obviously the solar's not connected yet. And so that'll be something that we do tomorrow. We'll be getting commissioned. I'm sure the system will all be live tomorrow. We've still got the solar panels to put on the back roof. Managed to get all the rails done. So that's it for today. Hope you're enjoying watching so far. If you are, please keep watching and see how we get on tomorrow. And also, if you do enjoy watching my videos, hit the like and subscribe button. And I appreciate every single one of you for watching. So thank you very much and we'll see you tomorrow. So as you just saw, I've just installed the RCBO that's going to feed our solar inverter. Uh, and I've done the CT clamp positions now. This is the board that's supplying the EV. Still need to label that up. Um, but yeah, so this board here was the one that the air source heat pump guys put in. And um, they've done a nice job, I have to say. 
but it was great that um, they've left some spare ways. I mean, you know, it saved us a job. Um, and it makes it nice and tidy for the customer. They don't have too many separate boards because their house board is, is full. So yeah, we've put in um, a 40 amp RCBO for the inverter and we've got three CT clamps here. So I'll quickly explain here um, for those who don't know. This is the main cutout from the DNO. So this is the cable coming in from outside. It goes through this fuse, which is an 80 amp fuse goes into the smart meter, out of the smart meter, into the top of the isolator, and then out of the isolator. And on this job, we've got the Henley blocks here, which British Gas also put in for us, so thanks for that. And then it goes to the house board, and then it goes to the air source e-pump board, and it goes to our EV board. So we've got these two CT clamps here. We've got this one here is going to the Zappi on CT1. So we've allocated that as CT1 in the Zappi. This one here is our inverter CT. So you'll see that both of these CTs are over the main line that's coming out of the isolator. So they are covering everything. They're seeing everything, um, both in and out, import and export. Then we've got this one. So we've got a third CT clamp. Now this is coming from the Zappi again, but in the Zappi we set that as CT2. And we also set it to avoid drain. But I'll just put a quick link now to another video that I did that explains that in greater detail. And I'll also put um, the PDF that I created on now as well that just shows you how we have set that up. Okay, so that's us all done here. Um, the system is commissioned and up and running. We've got the uh, the Zappi, the Eddy, and the system behind the solar and batteries that look absolutely amazing. Currently generating about three kilowatts. It's mainly just on this front roof now. The sun has rotated around, which was the whole point in this design, that this back roof is gonna be capturing all the morning and midday sun, and then about 12-ish, one-ish, They'll both be in sun and then the afternoon the front is going to be getting most of the sun uh, so thank you for watching if you enjoy watching my videos please like and subscribe and we will see you on the next one